Hey guys, Monty here to talk about this Harley Davidson boot and why you, you, should not be picking it up. Before going into the why you shouldn't, let me just hit on some of the, uh, some details about this boot. I've had this now for maybe, it feels like two years? Ish? We'll go with two-ish, I don't remember the exact date. I, I, I'm pretty sure I had this, uh, not last Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving before. Uh, so I feel like Harley's had this boot out uh, for a hot minute now. Um, here's some of the details in terms of what the uh, motor close number is and how much it's currently going for. I don't remember if that is um, what I got it for. Uh, I just do remember that I did get it during a uh, 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 boot clear out, however you want to call it, sale or going on at uh, Harley Davidson. So um, the one aspect about this boot I actually liked right off the bat it's just for the fact that it kind of reminded me of Converse's Chuck Taylor's. Iconic shoe. Uh, really like it. Uh, mostly because of this white trim here, I guess. Uh, and uh, I really dug it. That, in terms of the reflector lenses, it doesn't really show in... Uh, laces, rather. doesn't really show in this uh, regular soft light. But uh, uh, if you were outside or you took a flashlight to it, it kind of uh, shows off the white speckles going on up and down the laces. So that's pretty cool. Uh, in terms of the aesthetic, the price, you don't remember if it was the exact price I paid, uh, but it was a it was a damn nice shoe for what you were getting for. So I was really into it. Um, in terms of what it was lacking, uh, it's not a, a steel toe, but again, you get what you pay for. Um, I personally prefer it when uh, it goes a little bit higher uh, above the ankle for the protection. Again, you kind of know what you're buying uh, in that case. Um, not not a terrible boot. Uh, I've had other Harley Davidson boots that I've liked, uh, or rather, I've, I should say, I've had them a lot longer, um, and have held up pretty well. This one, though, just not the case. And I'm saying that because obviously the the condition, like how it's discolored, I've thrown the boots for that open a whole bunch of times, so it's a little bit more scuffed up right now. Um, uh, and obviously the some of the dog hair that you may see on there uh, definitely from from my house um, But man This is how it comes together or it fell apart. I should say and um, I didn't abuse these boots. I like these boots. They were super comfortable uh, For the longest time um, I'm not the kind of person that's gonna like take my other shoe and, and try to try to kick it off like that This isn't from shifting it just naturally fell apart that this shouldn't happen <laughs> I mean this just should not happen um, after such a short period of time I've had boots that were probably 10 years old and they lasted longer than this and I honestly think I've had this for ish two, you know two ish years which is really really unfortunate but so because of this I say it's not even worth um, uh, picking up if you're gonna have to fix them if you're gonna have, to, if they're gonna be falling apart even more, I have to figure out what I want to do uh, with these shoes. Can glue them, YouTube a video, something like that. But there's so many damn good boots out there uh, that if you buy it once, you're probably gonna be good for a long time. So consider those, those other options as well. Good Lord knows there's a plethora of them uh, of these work boots, and you know what? You want to take care of your feet. You don't want to screw anything up. So it, it's worth spending a lot more money than I did. Um, on a boot uh, uh, that's out there, guys. If you know any uh, any good companies that are making some uh, nice domestic uh, boots, let me know because I mean, you you want to be freaking comfortable. Doesn't matter if you're riding, walking around, um, or on the job. You want to make sure that you're comfortable. So, drop those in the comments below. I'll be interested to check some out, and uh, let me know if you picked up the shoe if uh, if it's falling apart on you. Guys, have a good one. Take it easy and ride safe. Ha, ha, ha.